Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and it's my honor to welcome you to the world premiere of Sonomoto's first SEV, which stands for Solar Electric Vehicle. Our team is incredibly excited, so let's get started. Well, in so many ways, our story is really simple. It all started with two friends having one shared vision, a world without fossil fuels. And he is that friend. Um, we've known each other since 20 years now. And I can say that we share the vision and the passion for sustainability. Yes, that's true. And, you know, we've been through thick and thin, did a lot of projects together, right? Yes, and I would say one particular project there stands out, and it started in 2012 when we were discussing how we urgently need to stop burning fossil fuels. I mean, just think about it. This is crude oil. How dependent our society is on that stuff. Our clothes, medication, smartphones, basically every product shown at the CES depends more or less on crude oil. And why do we keep burning it in our combustion engines? That is what we ask ourselves. And we cannot afford this waste any longer, especially when we saw that the answer to our problem is shining right above our heads, right? That's so true. And there was this very moment when we, we said we need to do something. We need to take matters in our own hands. And, and that was the point when we went into the garage, built the first prototype by hand to see whether our vision of a solar electric vehicle can come true. Oh yes, and it took us three full years to build yeah. the first prototype by hand in this garage. Um, and we had nothing. We started from scratch. We had no money, no automotive expertise, but we didn't feel any lack or whatsoever. We felt the conviction that we were onto something and we were determined to change the world for the better, even though it was just with our own four hands at that time. So true. And there was this very moment when, when the car drove down the road the first time and that was just incredible. That was an unbelievable moment. And we knew at this point we had to do something. We have to bring this car onto the street. We have to found a company. Yes, and we want to make it happen fast. It's kind of like in our genes, I would say, to make it happen fast. But at the same time, we are not about to cut corners here because we knew with the first of its kind car, we need also first of its kind company. And that's why we introduced new ways of working together, new ways of interacting with and communicating with the customers, with our community, as we call them. Because what that means is while most cars are designed and developed behind closed doors, we choose instead to build a community driven company, one in which every stakeholder has a voice. So who are these people, you might ask? Well, first and foremost, our team, an incredible team of automotive and solar experts all around the world. These are the people who push the boundaries every day to make the impossible possible. But second, they are the people out there, the future drivers of the car. And these people have been taking part in major decisions of the car. This is so new. Think about it. What did we decide on? The, the color. Co the color, uh, number of seats, rims. charging speed, the rims, and a lot Incredible. more other things we decided together with these people. And it's through that process that we build an incredible strong community because with that community, they support us to the fullest and they know they are taking part in shaping the vision for the first solar electric vehicle. Yes, you're right, Jonah. And we are so proud of this community. We achieved a lot together, but it's just the beginning because we founded a company with the mission to make EVs accessible to everyone. Because if you're talking about EVs, there are always three main problems, right? High price, short range, and poor infrastructure. Those are the main reasons why electric vehicles are not yet in the mass market. This is most probably the reason why you don't drive electric yet. So we needed to come up with solutions. You know, one affordable and convenient electric vehicle for everyone. A car for, you know, for your co-workers, your parents, your neighbors, a car for, for, for me, a car for you. Our solution is design. It's more than a car. It's a whole new vehicle category. It's a solar electric vehicle, short SUV, which is truly affordable and convenient. Over the past hundred years, this is how the automotive industry has been doing it. But now we're at a tipping point. The time has come to take a different approach. And I believe it's on motors we are.
just as the Volkswagen Beetle did more than 70 years ago in bringing practical, reliable and affordable mobility to the masses, this vehicle is ready to do that today. As you can see, the Sion is a family-friendly, everyday vehicle. Only, instead of being covered in paint, it is covered with 248 integrated solar cells. And it is exactly these solar cells that enable us in the Sion to actually unlock the mass market. And we're doing this by being more affordable, more convenient, and being more accessible to all of us. Talking about affordability, we engineered the Xeon to be the first solar electric vehicle you can really afford. Now, what does it mean? It has to be affordable. So on the cost side, we engineered this vehicle to be the first solar electric vehicle that you can afford. And to be precise, if you look at the list price, we're talking about 21,429 euros without VAT in European countries or roughly 26,400 US dollars. Um, but if you have ever owned and operated a vehicle yourself and not only purchased it, you know that a lot of costs come in after you purchase the vehicle. And here we also have one of the lowest total costs of ownership in the segment. And we achieved that by getting free solar power. Imagine to own and operate this vehicle for five years and saving thousands of dollars in fuel cost. And that's not all. Actually, you can even make a buck or two with that vehicle when you start sharing it and thinking about other people. You can share your vehicle, uh, share a ride or share power, but later we will say more to this. But before we talk sharing, let's take a closer look at the second hurdle to EV adoption, the convenience factor. People often worry about the limited range of electric vehicles. They think they can't get to the places where they need to go without having to stop and recharge the car. And what if they can't find a charging station at all? At Sono Motors, while we fundamentally believe that sustainability is not really optional, we also believe that sustainable solutions can and should be as convenient as possible. And what could be more convenient than a car that recharges itself for free whenever there's daylight? The integrated solar technology into the Sion's body charges up to 21.7 miles every day from solar energy alone. This is more than enough to cover your average daily commute. For a typical commute profile, the Sion requires up to four times less charging than a regular electric vehicle. But this vehicle cannot charge itself at night, can it? That is correct, but you can still drive when it's dark. The Sion comes with a good built-in battery range and you can charge it like any other electric vehicle. Well, let's continue to talk about convenience. The Sono app, in your eyes, what are the most exciting features about it? The Sono app enables the car user to check out the exact location of the car. You can look up your battery status right here. And you can even watch the real-time charging progress of their solar panels. Of course, since we're inside right now, it doesn't charge. You can preheat and air condition. And of course, it allows for keyless entry. Nice screen. Let's talk about the MOAS. Uh, in our more than 15,000 test drives, the most asked question was, do I have to water this? No but it is natural, but you don't have to take care of it at all. You can even change the color right here in the infotainment. All right, let's use pink. There you go. The Zono app is key to our connected car services, and this is the third advantage, accessibility. Yes, we want to make the Sion accessible to everyone, not just the Sion owner. Yes, and we do offer a standard equipment integrated in every Sion, car sharing, ride pooling, and power sharing. That means you can share your ride or even your entire car with everyone, or you choose to just share it with certain groups like your family, your friends, or the members of the sport club. The important thing here is that you always decide who, when, and for how long people get access to your car. With the app, there's no more need for a personal meeting in order to exchange the key. So this literally means 
that you can rent your car at home while you are away on vacation. Personally, I share my Sion with my neighbors and my colleagues from Sono Motors. Look, there's Sion. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what's also very cool? The Sion can share its energy too. Mm, yes. Giving back power to you and your community whenever it's needed. That's right. You could even power your power tools. Yes, and you can go camping in the wild using the Sion as a source of power all the time. The Sion is for you like a personal home storage solution. Yes, and it can also replace stationary generators. You know, Friedrich, I have been working in the automotive industry for over 25 years. And 10 years ago, we in the industry underestimated the need for electric vehicles. And I wonder today, are we underestimating the need for solar electric vehicles? Yes, definitely. We are at the brink of a transformation that will usher into many advantages for people and planet alike. That said, Thomas, I think it's a good time to dive into some more production facts. You bet. Let's go and have a closer look what will and will not go into the Sion Reproduce. One of the most frequently asked questions, how can we make this car so high tech yet so affordable? Well, it's five things we do intentionally different than other car manufacturers. First, there's only one variant of the model and we do this to get economies of scale and to make ordering for you easy. Can have any color as long as it's black. Two, we utilize existing production capacity in the world. In the case for the Sion, we are producing our vehicle at the largest former Saab factory in Trollhättan, Sweden. Our contract manufacturer, Neves, checks for us all the boxes we want from a manufacturer. It has a high quality production, it has 100% renewable energy, and we have high standards for the workforce. Three, our manufacturing process is acid light. Uh, that means that our aluminum space frame uh, is corrosion resistant and the polymer outer is out of polymer and uh, we don't need a paint shop for it, nor do we need a stamping facility for steel parts, which is really expensive on the tooling side. That means we can save our paint shop completely and uh, save therefore up to 70% of the energy and electricity that's used in a factory. And we also don't need very expensive steel stamping tools, which make a high investment for any factory. Four, we use off-the-shelf components that are available on the market with state-of-the-art technology in it. Why reinvent the wheel for anything that's not our unique selling proposition of the vehicle? So for example, hiding in here, displayed behind me, is our electric drive unit, our electric motor that we have purchased from Continental, which is a high quality German manufacturer. And this electric engine is used already on other vehicles that were just launched this year in the European market. And finally, number five, we are doing online direct sales. And for us, this is easy. Why? Because your test drives can be done at our test drives events or with car sharing. And you don't have to look at all your specifications of your vehicle, of your colors and equipment choices. So we can save at least 15% of our distribution cost, and we'll pass that savings down to you. All of these advantages are layered on top of our real differentiator, what makes the Sion a true revolution. I would like to introduce you to Arun from our solar team. He will explain to you what makes our technology different from what you might experience on the roof at your house at home with solar technology. Hi Thomas. Hi Arun. Hey world. I'm happy to share this revolutionary technology to you. First, you need to know that at Sono Motors, we are dedicated to shaping solar technology. This means we are moving beyond flat, rigid 
and heavy solar panels. And we are engineering a solar module which is flexible and fully adaptable. The solar cells are integrated into polymer instead of glass. This makes them lighter, robust, cheaper and more efficient than any other technology available at the present in the market. The high efficiency solar cells can seamlessly be integrated into almost all kinds of objects. On the Zion, for example, they're integrated into the body, making them nearly invisible. Given the incredible potential of our solar technology, we are not about to keep it to ourselves. Other companies approach us to license our technology, and we said yes, and Lauren will talk about more. Thanks, Arun, and you're right. I'm incredibly excited to announce our partnership with the French company Isima. Isima develops and sells electric driving autonomous shuttles, which are already deployed around the world today. Well, with our solar integration, these shuttles become even more cleaner and more efficient, which means less dependency on charging infrastructure. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are actively looking for applications for our solar technologies to move towards a future where transportation is more sustainable. This trailer is one example we develop in the project with a V-Trailer consortium and our Finnish partner, Valoa. The goal was to explore vehicle-integrated photovoltaics for trailers. And if you look at the bigger picture, it is actually the vehicle-integrated photovoltaics for heavy-duty trucks. The trailer is currently in prototype stage, but when it hits the road, it can generate up to 80 kilowatt hours per day, just driven by the sun. Just imagine the massive potential of all the refrigerated trucks running around the world, transporting food to the people. Now imagine what this can mean for all the fuel-driven trucks and truck fleas across the world with our implementation of solar technology into all of this kind of transportation. It could be the most important step to save the planet. Wow, this is incredible, Arun. So unbelievable. Yes, truly incredible. A car, a truck, a shuttle, and so much potential for so much more. So let us not forget why we're doing it all for, for a world without fossil fuels. Yeah. The world without fossil fuels. Hi everyone out there. My name is Andrea and I'm your host during the Q&A session and I'm very, very happy because we have the first questions through the chat coming in. Um, I'm very glad that we are connected digitally with all of you not traveling, so saving a lot of CO2 emissions to my right. right that's Thomas again, COO at Sono Motors, as you already heard, with 25 years of serious experience in the industry in leading CEO positions. Looking to the back, that's our beautiful Cyan. Um, is that the car that we all really have been waiting for for years? Let's make this quick. Uh, yes, it is. It is. Talking about the range again, we already had it in the last minutes, but really, please, sharing again reliable figures. Maybe you have one to two for us. Let's do this the German way, very precise. Yeah. The electric vehicle behind us is first and foremost an electric vehicle with a standard range of roughly 250 kilometers battery range. And then on top comes the solar range. So, as said earlier, uh, when you have the car in a normal commuter function, you would have a regular vehicle charge about once every week. With our solar technology, mm -hmm. you charge every four weeks if you drive roughly um, 17 kilometers to work on, on the weekend. Over 115 kilometers of range with average German weather yeah, per week that's good is gained out of solar. That's good news. First questions from our uh, uh, great audience. Can it charge, question to you, while driving or does it need to be parked to charge? Uh, yes, it can charge while it's driving as long as it's daylight. Good, not at night, as we heard from Friedrich. 
What happens when the car is dented in an accident? Somebody wants to know. It's a polymer outer, so denting it is really hard. Uh, in general, it's very robust. If the cells would splinter, you could actually continue to operate. Wouldn't be a problem. But of course, if you have a serious accident with any vehicle, you'd have to replace uh, the door. What about the costs of replacing? It's roughly similar when you consider that for a metal vehicle, mm -hmm. you have to repaint uh, the door, for example, in the color of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Next question coming in, a critical one. Do you use cobalt less batteries? We use batteries with less cobalt, but we still have cobalt in the batteries. Have, we still have cobalt. Yes. Okay, let's go to the young founders to our left. Um, somebody okay. wants to know, at the uh, um, amazing concept, somebody says, from the audience, so how close are you to production? Lauren, maybe you go first. Yeah, sure. So, well, we this is a prototype behind us. We're right in the middle of development, but we will uh, finish development this year and uh, with design release and then kick off this year's tooling and then go next year into uh, pre-series, uh, produce the first cars. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the right now at the stage. Very exciting, very, you know, uh, intensive time also, mm -hmm. but it's great to have it. I know that the core values of your companies are around sustainability, yeah? This, this car is the best example for it. Can you share any figures with, that, with us about reducing CO2 emissions that are really reliable? Uh, sure, I can just give you a rough estimate, but mm -hmm. what we estimate is with all science we plan to produce, mm -hmm. um, we, we estimate to save roughly 20 million tons of CO2 over the life cycle of those vehicles. Over the life cycle? Over the life cycle. Okay. That's impressive. That's a lot. That, that's huge. Um, let's talk about the market. Um, are you addressing the US market also? When will it be purchasable there and in other non-European markets? Yeah. So I will answer that with a pleasure. So we are focusing the European market first. And in that regard, we constantly evaluate new markets and new opportunities because for sure we want to see the sun out in the world everywhere, mm -hmm. basically. But we focus on European markets first and mm -hmm. then go into mm -hmm. other markets mm -hmm. and also to, to the US. Mm -hmm. There's another question. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Jonah. There's another question coming in for you. What is the repair and service infrastructure for solar operated vehicles? Do you have it in place or is it in place? <laughs> um, yes and no. It will be in place when we launch the vehicle. And the good news is we will have no brick and mortar sales outlets, mm -hmm. but we will have a regular service infrastructure with a trusted partner. Um, uh, people will know. However, we will also offer other ways of repairing the vehicle, including some non-safety related repairs that you can do yourself if you're into watching a YouTube video and trying it yourself. And just another quick question by the side. You don't have any dealers. So the whole purchase process goes online because there's a question coming in. Do you already take pre-orders or when will you? I think that's good news. Who wants to answer that? Okay, you're Thomas. You don't need a dealer to take an order if you're an OEM. You need dealers for other functions like test drives and looking at the mm -hmm. vehicle. But since we're doing test drives ourselves and do caching ourselves, you can actually order a vehicle today um, and you can do that via our website. Mm -hmm. There's a question to the founders, I guess. How can EV, an electric vehicle, charging scale to more locations? It seems to be a slow process. So can you tell us about the charging process? Any good news to share? Yeah, of course. So, of course, you can recharge this car also via plug, just the standard plug, CCS, 50, 50 uh, kilowatt uh, peak there. And then you have this advantage that you can recharge this car through the sun. And that's basically the deal. You know, mm -hmm. Andrea, I live in the second floor mm -hmm. in Munich, mm -hmm. and I don't own an own garage, right? Mm -hmm. So I ask myself, how can I recharge an electric vehicle? Mm -hmm. How is it possible that I own an electric vehicle? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the car behind us. A car for everyone, mm -hmm. we, because we want to make EVs accessible mm -hmm. for everyone. Question to you, how do you make sure, because time is evolving, yeah, we are in a big transformation uh, mode, how do you make sure that the car won't be outdated when you put it really on the market? That's a good question, because first of all, we looked at the basic vehicle and what we need to make it accessible. And with a 250 kilometers range uh, in the, with a battery, mm -hmm. we see it as a very convenient and right sized battery. But at the same time, it is our key differentiators, which is the solar integration, which is mm -hmm. the bidirectional charging system that no one else incorporates as we do it. 
that also is like kind of like timeless. What mm -hmm. we see here is a vehicle that is more than just a vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. With these key different mm -hmm. I, I love this bi-directional charging. I really love it going out in the camp. Um, uh, Arun, we have a lot of questions for you from the audience. <laughs> What is the efficiency? Another tricky one. What is the efficiency of the solar modules? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. And actually, our approach is to really integrate high efficiency solar cells. So the efficiency of the modules are about 20%. And actually, the really nice thing is that the solar cells already we, we see, we have a roadmap um, which is going above 23%. And that's absolutely amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Next question. Will it charge if snow covers? <laughs> that's, or rain that's, or whatever. That's, that's, that's interesting. I mean, you have to say if it's covered fully, it will be difficult. But if you remove the snow, then definitely off you start driving. Okay, and that's good. That's body work in the beginning yeah. of the day. Yeah, but that's to add good. to that, that's exactly why we're integrated in the science, right? Because mm -hmm. if you talk about solar electric vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to have it as you know efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. That's why we integrated into the sites the body panels mm -hmm. of solar cells, so that even if it snows and the, you know the roof is covered, for mm -hmm. example, but, but still, that you have the sites still yeah, yeah, sure. charging when it's uh, you know the sun. But that reflects to the next question of the of the audience: uh, How much of the body is covered in solar cells? So literally, we learned 248 cells or yes. modules. So how much? Literally everything. Literally everything. We we really try to. You know, you see that you see um, every every surface on the car which is sufficient. Uh -huh. We integrated solar cells. And even the curved parts. So everything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, another question, and that's going back to Arun. How many kilowatt hours of energy would be generated per car in an average day in Central Europe? That includes Germany, but <laughs> let's say yeah. I mean, um, put it in kilowatt hours is maybe not interesting, but. What I think is really interesting, what does it add on kilometers? And actually, that's really nice. You can get up to 35 kilometers each day. That's, that, that's amazing. I mean, that's a, mm -hmm. a, a huge um, extension of, of the driving um, mm -hmm. uh, force. Yeah. Maybe to add that, mm -hmm. because at first point, you think 35, how much is this? Wow. But you have to put this into perspective, because the average German um, commuter in Germany is commuting 17 kilometers a day. 17. Seven, one seven. One seven. Mm -hmm. And that's not a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this car is recharging itself up to 34 mm -hmm. kilometers. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the market we mm -hmm. want to try to, to mm -hmm. tackle, right? Mm -hmm. One very last question because time is almost up. To Friedrich, you are uh, one of the first employees. I think you're the second yes, employee the second of the one. whole. You yes. stayed there till uh, since 2016. Yeah, what was the best day of your career at Sono Motors so far? The best day after four years, that's pretty difficult to answer. I guess when we um, finished the uh, the community campaign um, in the end that of last incredible. year, that was mm -hmm. that, that was, was so really one. insane mm -hmm. just to see mm -hmm. like this strong support from out there and to see that the market is really ready for this product and everyone wants it. And that that was really I think that would be the best one. Very quick question, last question to you, Jonah. Listen to you, to you all the time. Should uh, uh, Elon Musk envy you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would actually like to turn it around. Mm -hmm. See, we were inspired by a lot of companies out there, Tesla, mm -hmm. Fairphone, and a lot of other companies. So it's actually for us, if we could be an inspiration to Tesla and to other companies, that would actually be our vision. Because we are all in this together, right? Mm -hmm. For a world without fossil fuels. So let's create that. Thank you very much for your great contributions, for your incredible questions. If you join the stream later, please feel free uh, to go at the exhibitor showcase. You find all the information there and you can even connect uh, analogly almost through the digits with the team or at Sonar Motors. And don't miss tomorrow because we have another half an hour in-depth discussion about this great car behind us. So let's make the world fossil fuel free. Thank you very much.